So I'm here with a bowl of white chocolate, um, and you can see I've set it over a double boiler. What I'm about to do is temper the white chocolate, and I'm going to use that as decorations for my cakes. So you can see all of my chips are in the bowl, and I have the heat on, I'd say medium or medium low. The goal is if you see all of this steam happening, steam is very bad. Avoid steam. What, the, what that does is all of that condensation could end up back in your chocolate and you don't want the chocolate to seize. What that is is when chocolate mixes with a little bit of water, it'll kind of firm up very hard and you don't necessarily want that. So all I'm doing is gently melting my chocolate. And the purpose of tempering is really to create what's known as like snap and sheen. Um, if you ever have you know, pieces of white chocolate or dark chocolate and you can kind of snap them in your mouth and they have that beautiful glossy finish, the chocolate has been tempered because without it, your chocolate would just kind of be limp and melt in your hands, not in your mouth. But you can see I just melted it about two thirds of the way. This way it's not gonna stay too hot. I'm almost cooling it down with some of the seeds that aren't melted yet. And I'm just turning my bowl and using my rubber spatula and just bringing it together. Now the goal is to cool it down to the point where it's about body temperature. If you find that it's still too warm when all of your chips are melted, just set it over a bowl with ice water and give it a little bit of a stir and then remove it and just kind of stir it and stir it until it's nice and cool and ready to work with. And that's how you quickly temper some chocolate.